Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us beg God's forgiveness for all our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel, who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. 
Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer and you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death, but they could not find no way, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, do words have a taste? May lasaba ang salita. Words are usually spoken or words are heard. But it is very unusual to talk about the taste of a word. But in our first reading today, we are told that the Word of God has a taste. Ang salita ng Diyos ay may lasa. In our first reading today, a scroll was given to John, and John was asked to eat the scroll, to swallow it. In his mouth, the scroll tasted sweet as honey, but in his stomach, the scroll was sour. That is the taste of the Word of God, sweet and sour. 
the Word of God is sweet because it promises beautiful things from God. The Word of God is sweet because it talks about God's marvelous works for His people. The Word of God is sweet because it gives us inspiration, it gives us delight, it gives us peace. But the Word of God is also sour because it condemns. The Word of God is sour because it disturbs us. The Word of God is sour because it promises punishment and condemnation for those who are not faithful. The Word of God is sour because it invites us to carry our cross in order to follow Jesus. The Word of God is sweet, but it is, but it is also sour. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we only want to hear the sweet things from God's Word. And we try to avoid those things that are sour. And even for us preachers, sometimes we are tempted to focus only on the sweetness of God's Word so that people will be delighted to hear them. And we try to avoid talking about the sour things of God's Word so that people will not be displeased. Sa kagustuhan namin hindi makasakit, hindi maka-offend, at walang magalit sa amin, pag-usapan na lang natin yung magagandang bagay, matatamis na bagay na sinasabi ng Diyos sa Kanyang salita. Huwag na nating pag-usapan yung mga nakakasakit, yung katotohanan na hindi natin matanggap, yung mga bagay na ayaw nating marinig. Our gospel today concluded with the words, All the people were hanging on, were hanging on His words. My dear brothers and sisters, may we always hang on to God's words whether they are sweet or sour, whether they bring us happiness or they disturb us, whether they bring us peace or whether they disturb our conscience, whether they bring us delight or condemnation. Let us always hold on to God's Word. Let us swallow God's Word and make it a part of us. And when the Word of God becomes part of us, becomes part of our lives, then even the sour will become sweet. Please stand. The commands of the Lord are clear, but His mercy is great. Let us pray to our Father with trust, with trust in His wisdom. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Catholic Church may guide her members in the path of righteousness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may learn to turn away from sin with all our hearts, remaining obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That those who do not believe may yet hear the word of God and be brought to eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may never neglect the sick, the old, the lonely, 
and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you search the heart of every man, and you know our innermost thoughts. Strengthen our hearts for true worship and our hands for more willing service to others. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you, you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.